Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young, female, knight of Favonius. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Ugh. <sighs> My readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Grief's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well... Klee's so young, so even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Not this one. Hmm. Or this one. Hmm. No, no, it's not this one either. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Damn it. 
engaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete! Let's bring it back! At last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Clee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Hey? Huh? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> It's the book in your hand. What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Um, am I in trouble? Huh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. <sighs> After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Yes. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I... I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. All right. Then, allow me to tell you where the house is. Ad Astra Abyssal.
the person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Alright, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are... Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there.